Ooh. Hello, everyone. Ooh. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Hatboro Horsham High School Virtual College Fair. Thank you so much for joining us today. My name's Matt. I'm going to be your facilitator. We have a great list of colleges ready to chat with you all. Just a couple of housekeeping announcements for our attendees. Your camera and your microphone are off. That means the panelists can't see or hear you. You can ask your questions using the Q&A button that you see on your screen, and I recommend using that throughout the entirety of our time today. A reminder that we have one more hour of, of sessions after, today, after this one, so to sign up for more. And another reminder that recordings of this session and all of today's sessions will be available at strivescan.com slash hatborough horsham in a few days. Uh, with that being said, I'm gonna turn it over to our first presenter from Hartwick College. Okay, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Josie. I'm an admissions counselor here at Hartwick. Thanks for joining today. So for the sake of time, let's go ahead and jump right in. So belonging is what we do best here at Hartwick. You'll experience a vibrant campus with plenty to do and be involved in. If there's an area you're interested in, chances are you can find it here at Hartwick. You can visit our website to find the full list of ways to get involved. At Hartwick, student, and academic, student life and academics are intertwined. So our students are in the labs, in studios, doing research and interning, all in their very first semester here at Hartwick. About a third of Hartwick students are student athletes. We offer NCAA Division III sports, as well as club sports, depending on how much time you'd like to dedicate to playing. Uh, we also offer J-term and study abroad opportunities for our students during our January semester or even our fall and spring semesters. I would love to show you a virtual tour of campus, but for the sake of time, we'll skip over that. Uh, if you'd like to find it, you can just go to YouTube and search Hartwick College virtual tour. Uh, so let's talk more specifically about the unique opportunities that you can take advantage of here at Hartwick. We are constantly adapting our educational structure to tailor to the 21st century and prepare you for an ever-changing environment. Our 10 to 1 student to faculty ratio allows for intentional relationships and personal mentorship. Uh, with an average class size of about 15 students, you really will get to know your professors and they'll be without you through they'll be with you throughout your entire Hartwick journey and beyond. Our future focused curriculum offers a range of majors and minors so that you can pursue all of your passions. We have our Pine Lake environmental campus, 60 plus clubs and organizations. There's so many opportunities for getting involved inside and outside of the classroom here at Hartwick. We have more than 18,000 alumni worldwide that you can connect with who can attest to the in-depth personalized education they received here at Hartwick. I'm one of those alumni as well. We promise to equip you with the skills and know-how to excel in a rapidly changing world so that you can launch not only a meaningful career, but a purposeful life. So at Hartwick, we offer 40 plus academic programs, popular majors, exploratory, cooperative, and pre-programs, and we're adding to that list every single year. We also offer our three-year degree program. So the best part of the degree in three curriculum, it's already defined for you, so you don't have to worry about scheduling conflicts or logistics. So let's jump into one of my favorite things about Hartwick, our Flippack program. So Flight Path is a flexible and personalized experience tailored to you that will provide you with all of the tools you will need to succeed here at Hartwick and beyond. Uh, I'd love to show you our more specific Flight Path video, but like I said, for the sake of time, we'll keep going. Um, you can find that again right on the Hartwick College YouTube page. So each year, Flight Path is going to offer you opportunities that build on your experience. You'll have a guidance team that's dedicated to you personally, starting your first year with your success coach and faculty advisor. You'll take assessments, seminars, and courses to identify your strengths and passions, and you'll learn skills you'll need to be competitive in tomorrow's job market. 
those uh, first members of your guidance team will be with you as you go into your second year. Uh, you'll attend a sophomore only conference where you'll explore career ideas, learn the art of networking, connect with alumni, and chart your next step. You'll also have the opportunity to travel to major cities, visit businesses, and tour alumni workplaces, all while working closely with your guidance team. As you enter your junior year, uh, you're going to gain a career coach and alumni mentor to your guidance team. They're going to help you take part in real world experiences and continue to evolve your digital resume. Going into your senior year, you'll have your full four person guidance team. Uh, you'll have the opportunity to frame your accomplishments and experiences in a comprehensive capstone that will reflect how your flight path has set you up for postgraduate success. You'll also finalize your digital resume and be ready to approach prospective employers. After graduation, you'll be an alumni forever. Your Flight Path digital resume will set you apart and give employers a full picture of who you are in the professional world. You'll also have access to Hartwick's full uh, invaluable alumni network as you step into the rest of the professional world. So that's Hartwick, kind of in a nutshell. I'd love to answer any more questions you might have, and it's been lovely to chat with you all. Great, thank you so much. Next, we will hear from Centenary University. Hello everyone, my name is Brittany Cardi from Centenary University. We are located in Hackettstown, New Jersey, which is just about a little over an hour from New York City. Um, up here are some of my territories, and right now we're covering um, other areas to help counselors. You can reach out to any of us here in the admissions department, and we can help you throughout the admissions process, whether it is your application, the financial aid aspect with FAFSA or any questions you might have, we can direct you to the right department. So here are some fast facts about Centenary. We were established in 1867. We continuously add new academic programs each year. Um, we kind of take whether it is recommendations from current students or just trends to try and keep updated on new academic programs. We are division three, so students just receive merit-based scholarships. Um, there is no athletic scholarships that students can receive at the D3 level. Um, and we have about a student bo body of 1,100 students on campus, which allows us to have a student to faculty ratio of 17 to one. You get more of a personalized experience and you're not just another number in the classroom. You're going to know all your faculty, professors, and peers that you're in classrooms with. This allows for us to have a classroom size of around 20 to 25 students in your gen eds. And then as you get into your major courses, you'll drop down to um, around 15 students, depending on the major that you choose. So during your time at Centenary, we emphasize on all of our programs doing internships which allows for you to start networking early. Um, and then it allows for us to have our 98% of our students being employed or in graduate school within six months of graduation. Um, we have our Career Services Center, faculty and staff members that help with this project. So here are some of our academic programs that we have here on campus. Some of our new programs this year are computer science, public health, health science, exercise science, um, supply chain management. Like I said, we continuously add programs um, to kind of keep up with current trends. Our biggest programs are usually um, education, equine, um, and our business since we are a liberal arts school here. So all of our students will receive a scholarship based off of their high school GPA. We are currently test optional um, and do not require your letters of recommendations, essays, but we do encourage them just so that we can get to know you 
more as a student. Um, these scholarships here are good for across all four years. So um, once you have that scholarship, you just need to remain in good academic standing. So this is just merit-based. This is nothing um, un unless FAFSA comes in. Um, so this you'll have first once you have an admissions decision. And then once we have FAFSA, you'll receive um, additional funding of grants and loans based on need. So here are some of the 13 athletic teams that we have. We are currently in the Atlantic East Conference, um, along with our equine teams down below. Um, our students here enjoy participating and or going out to events and cheering on our cyclones. Um, we did, we still have two teams in the CSAC Conference, but um, starting next academic year, we will have um, all of our teams over into the Atlantic East Conference, which has been a lot better of a conference and competition wise. So we have different types of residence halls on campus. Um, you are guaranteed housing all four years and there's different styles um, across all four years. At first your freshman year, you will be dormed with all freshman students and then transfers are all dormed together. And then after that, um, you'll have a choice of different areas between traditional residence halls and apartment style. Um, our traditional is community style restrooms, but it is a toilet, a sink, and a shower behind a closed locked door. So you don't have to share sinks and everything like that with other students. So here are some student services on campus. Um, our disability services works with students with IEPs, 504 plan, any physical or mental disabilities. They are absolutely phenomenal. Um, if there's any questions or need help with directions to them, reach out to me, I can get you their contact. With academic affairs, student life, um, they're kind of gonna help with the clubs and organizations on campus here. Residence life is gonna help with any residential issues and career services and study away. So career services, you can bring your resume, job application, and they'll help you create a resume tailored towards a certain job. They'll help you learn resources and everything like that um, on how to find jobs. Here are some of the clubs and organizations on campus. And if you don't see a club that you'd like, always know that you can always go to Student Life and add a club. So, we have Centenary's Choice right now, which you can choose to take classes either fully virtual or fully on ground. And that is either be living on campus or as a commuter. So our students have enjoyed that opportunity that we've um, given them with COVID. So if you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out. My phone number is below and email and I can post that in the chat for everyone. Thank you. Great. Thank you so much. And next, we will hear from Rowan University. All right. Sorry, it just takes me a bit to get started here. How do I make it bigger? Uh, you should go to slideshow. All right, here we go. Got it. I was like, I was like, mm -hmm. and then from the beginning. There we go. All right. Hi, everybody. Uh, thanks for joining us today. My name is Sharisa Burgos. I'm one of the assistant directors here at Rowan, also a very proud alum. Um, just realizing that I'm now vintage. Uh, I used to be able to share my student experience, but you know, it's been a little over 10 years now. So I think. It's a little obsolete, my experience here. Uh, but I also did my graduate work here. So uh, me and uh, Rowan have a really tight relationship, you could say. Um, so let me get started. One of the first things we like to talk about um, when we're introducing Rowan University is a little bit about the location. There's no doubt about it that there are so many wonderful universities um, in our state of New Jersey and across the country. Um, and I think one of the things obviously that you're gonna look for in a university is do they have your major? The second is also location. Um, we are located about 20 minutes from Philadelphia, an hour from Jersey Shore, um, two hours from New York City, two and a half from Washington DC, and not listed on here about 35 to 40 minutes from Delaware. So 
right in this tri-state area and there's so much going on. The location is super important when you are um, you know, looking for an internship or just opportunities um, to get experience within your area of study. And we have students that are, you know, doing both part-time jobs and internships and even enjoying the city of Philadelphia as well. We have shuttle buses that go back and forth. So fun fact, Rowan is uh, recently ranked the fourth fastest growing university public doctoral institution in the country. So you'll see that in our programming, in our admission, um, and in our campuses. So um, our main campus is Glassboro, New Jersey, right on the southwest part of New Jersey. Um, and that is where our residential campus and most of our undergraduate programs are held. We have a Camden campus. This is non-residential. Um, and Camden is also where one of our medical schools are. Then we have our West Campus. So we are about 200 acres here at Rowan University, and we're not sitting on nearly half of that. So there's a lot of room for growth. So our West Campus houses some of our athletic practice fields, um, something we call South Jersey Tech Park, which is essentially a small incubator for small tech companies. It's almost like our idea of a Silicon Valley. Um, and then our medical school. So we are also one in three universities in the entire country that have two medical granting programs, both an MD and a DO program. So that definitely sets us apart. Some other unique features of Rowan is our planetarium. We're doing shows here for current students, but also for the youngsters in the area to get them excited about STEM programming. And then another unique part of our campus is our fossil park. So this is about 15 minutes from our main campus. Um, and it turns out about 66 million years ago, this part of our campus was covered in ocean water. So some of the first marine dinosaur fossils are found right in our fossil park. So there's a lot of research happening there as well. So these are all of our schools and colleges. We have over 90 um, bachelor programs. We also offer masters and doctoral programs here. Um, so I obviously won't go through all of the majors that we have, but they're listed under um, these schools and colleges. But something I do like to point out when I'm talking to students is, while we do have all these majors, we also have a ton of minors, specializations and concentrations. And this is our students' um, way of getting, you know, a, a focused area of study in their major. It's not something you need to know when you are applying to Rowan, um, but when you first meet with your assigned academic advisor, it's a great conversation to have to see what is available within your major. So again, that you can put these tools in your belt. Um, I say something I forgot. Um, so a little bit about our enrollment profile. So again, like I said, we do have master's and doctoral programs and also our two medical schools. So across all of those categories, we have close to 20,000 students here. So we're categorized as a medium sized school. Um, the student to faculty ratio is uh, 17 to one with an average class size of 20 students. Um, in my senior year, I had a class of nine students. So um, you're gonna get the best of both worlds. You know, you walk through campus, it's very lively. If I could turn my screen around right now, you'd see all the students walking by. Um, but in your classroom, you're gonna get an intimate setting where you're able to chat with your teacher before and after class, but also have great conversation with your classmates and learn that way as well. Um, some of our admission pathways. So no college student's journey looks the same. Um, we have a number of different admission pathways for students and, and I love being able to provide those options for students. So we have degree in three. And for some of our majors, we allow students to be able to complete it in three years. The caveat is that the students are gonna be doing two years of a summer um, classwork, but they get free summer housing. So that's a benefit. Um, this is great for students who may be considering moving into a graduate program so that they complete their undergraduate a little quicker. Um, we have Rowan Choice, which is a partnership with our local community college, Rowan College of South Jersey. So we share the name. Um, and this allows students to live on our campus, get the campus experience, but actually taking their first year semester um, over at RCSJ. We do have an EOF program here on campus. I'm actually um, the representative for EOF. So if you have any EOF questions, please feel free. And then Rowan at Home, which was birthed out of the pandemic. So we do have um, programming that is exclusively online. Um, our traditional students as well have um, options to be able to do some coursework online as well. But Rowan at Home is exclusive to online learning. Um, a little bit of our application, we're on the Common App, but we also have um, our application on our website. Uh, we will be looking at a high school transcript. We are test optional um, across the board. There's only three exceptions, and those are if you are looking to apply into our accelerated medical program, if you've obtained a GED, or if you are homeschooled. We're also looking at letters of recommendation, and then for some programs, um, we're looking at audition and portfolio review. Uh, I know I'm coming up short on time here, uh, but one thing, last thing I'd like to show is once you apply to us, you'll get a confirmation email with a link to your own personal um, status page. And this is where all of your decision letter will be. This is where you can contact your admissions counselor. So um, please don't hesitate to reach out. We'd love to chat.
Thank you all. Great, thank you so much. And next we will hear from Fairley Dickinson University. All right, hello. So I am gonna share my screen. I hope everyone is having a really good Wednesday. Um, I have not had coffee yet. So if I look like I'm struggling, that's why. Um, so my name is Danielle Bolsamo. I am one of the admissions counselors over at Fairley Dickinson University. So a little bit about Fairleigh Dickinson, we are actually the largest private university in New Jersey. Um, and because of that size, we actually offer all of the resources that a larger school would have. Um, over 100 plus majors, minors, and concentrations um, is a great example. But we are divided into two distinct campuses. So we actually divide our campus in half and feel like a small liberal arts school. So you're going to see about a 12 to 1 student to faculty ratio. Uh, so any given day, you're going to have no more than about 20 students in a classroom, which is really great, really personal approach to learning. So we'll talk a little bit about our two campuses in a minute, but continue going over a little bit more about the university. We have over 112 clubs and organizations across our two campuses, um, and those are going to range anywhere and, and anything from sports, intramurals to um, arts clubs to Greek life. Um, and then, of course, my personal favorite, which is a recent addition to the university, is our Pokemon Go Club. So um, I always bring that up because we are always looking for new organizations to bring to campus, um, and we make it really easy. So if there is something from a high school that you've done or another college has that you want to bring over, we really do look for that. Outside of our standard academic programs, we do offer over 43 four plus one bachelor's and master's degree programs. So these are programs in which you would complete your bachelor's degree in four years. In that fourth year, your senior year, you're starting master's level work and you're finishing that in a five year time period. So this is great. It really goes with our mission of affordability and accessibility because we want to make sure that you're able to accomplish what you want to accomplish within a time frame that is manageable and fully accessible financially for you. So this is our first of two campuses. Um, this campus is called the Metropolitan Campus and it is located in Teaneck, New Jersey. It is about six miles from downtown Manhattan. So the way I sort of describe this campus is it is in an upbeat suburb. It has the feel and the swag of New York City, but the benefits of being in a suburb of New Jersey. So you can sort of see from this picture, we actually have a river that goes directly through campus. So students love using this river um, in their classwork. They also like to do homework. Um, and then of course, watch the beautiful sunset as you can start to see in this photo. Um, all of the buildings on this campus are much more modern. It does have a little bit larger student population, but it is smaller acreage wise. In contrast, we have our Florham campus, which is located in Madison, in New Jersey. It's about 40 minutes from New York City with a direct train ride into Penn Station right off of campus. So easy access from both campus. We do have students taking internships throughout. This campus is a historic campus. So it's actually um, was designed by the architect who did Central Park and it is the fourth largest single family home in the country having been an old Vanderbilt Twombly estate. So we consider this our traditional college campus, a lot of big green spaces, students out on the lawns, a lot of older buildings. So again, here's a quick breakdown of these two campuses. Um, something I like to always point out is that we are actually a two division um, sports university. So we are have 21 D1 teams over at Metro and 23 D3 teams over at Florham. Forum is a little bit more of a residential school with about a 72% of students living on campus and 50% over at Metro. So again, lots of clubs on both. Um, when it comes to our majors, we do offer the majority of our majors across both campuses. So you're going to have your traditional education programs, business, psychology, um, and then we have a little bit more nuanced programs. So all of our arts programs in our school of art are going to be over at our forum campus. Our engineering, forensics, marine biology um, are going to be over at our metro campus. We do also have a direct admit nursing program and several co-op type programs in which you'd be able to complete accelerated tracks for your doctor degree in a variety of medical degrees. So um, veterinary school, dentistry, um, osteopathic medicine, standard medical school, etc. 
outside of the classroom, we do incorporate a lot of experiential learning opportunities. So even though we are a liberal arts school, it's a really nice balance of the liberal arts in the classroom and then hands-on experience that are going to be really applicable um, for your resume when you're coming out. So we do this in a lot of traditional ways or internships, mentoring marketing, guest speakers, career development, and then study abroad. We also have within major specific ways that we have our students um, getting hands-on experience. So I always like to have an example of our hospitality program. We have a full immersion program where instead of living on campus for four years and taking classes, you actually are able to live at a resort, take classes, and then also be making money and building experience while there. We do, as I said, have a lot of really great study abroad options at our school, and that comes with the fact that we actually have two of our own uh, international campuses. So our first one is in Roxton, England, in the top right-hand corner of the screen. It is an old abbey. Um, our second campus is in Vancouver, Canada. It is downtown, so it's another great opportunity for you if you're looking to get into some of the um, better not better, um, higher, you know, Fortune 500 type companies. Um, outside of that, we have a bunch of other partnerships. So here's a couple on the slide, but I do recommend looking further into it. Um, up here is just a couple of our application deadlines. We have early decision on November 1st, December 1st, early action. Um, January 31st is regular decision, and after that is rolling. If you do apply by December 1st, um, you will be getting a $50 application fee waiver and a $1,000 annual renewable grant. So this is my information. If you have any questions, that I will put it in the chat. Thank you. Great. Thank you so much. And next, we will hear from the College of New Jersey. Good afternoon, everybody. So as I get my presentation up here, uh, I did go ahead and put some useful resources in the chat. You have my email, you have my personal booking link in case you want to set up an appointment later and talk about anything, as well as links for on-campus and virtual programming that TCNJ is hosting. We've got a lot of great events coming up this fall, so definitely encourage you to come on down to campus. Uh, so I'm here to, today to discuss TCNJ, the College of New Jersey. We're in beautiful Ewing, New Jersey, E-W-I-N-G, about 40 minutes northeast-ish of Hatboro Horsham. I'm Stephen Tom Keel. I'm the Senior Admissions Counselor for the College of New Jersey. I've been at TCNJ for seven years. I've been recruiting at PA for over five years now. So I know PA. I know TCNJ. I'm here to help you. I've been visiting Happy Air Horsham since before y'all were even attending. Uh, so any questions you have in your process, anything I can do to help, just let me know. Uh, in terms of what's going to make TCNJ stand out, what's going to make us different. So we are a public school, right? It's right there in the name, the College of New Jersey. But we are smaller than most public institutions. So right around 7,000 undergraduate students, um, student faculty ratio 13 to one, average class size in a classroom, 20, 21 students. I think potentially the even more meaningful data point, you will never see a classroom space at TCNJ that's gonna go beyond about 35 or 40 students. We're not doing that big 200 person lecture hall. It's not our style. So the experience at TCNJ is personalized. It's more intimate, it's more close knit. TCNJ might honestly remind you of some of the smaller selective and prestigious private institutions you're applying through throughout your process. Uh, but because you are public at the end of the day, we have the big opportunities tons of study abroad programs, internships, research, student teaching, nursing clinicals. We have the big opportunities and the lower cost you'd expect from a public institution. Uh, so kind of best of both worlds. Uh, and that allows us to facilitate a lot of meaningful experiences and personalized experiences and value for our students. Uh, it's why we're often on those top value lists. We've been named the number one public college university for our size, 5,000 to 10,000 students by Money Magazine. So if you're looking for that not too big, not too small, just right fit, we are considered a top Top value in higher education in that space. Uh, it's also why we have the fifth highest four year uh, graduation rate among public colleges and universities. Um, and ultimately, that sense of personalized experience is something that permeates every aspect of TCNJ's campus and community. Uh, so again, it starts with the fact that it's smaller in the classroom, professors know who you are, they want you raising that hand, asking questions. We want students to be leaders in their educational experience and you get mentorship and support so you can feel empowered in that context. Um, there's a lot of personalization in terms of what courses and programs you pursue. For most majors, roughly a third of the credits you pursue in order to graduate are entirely in the elective space. So choose your own adventure for a lot of what you're doing. We see so many students do the double major, the major in two, three minors, majors in Spanish while also pursuing science prerequisites for med school, ton of interdisciplinary learning at our campus. 
Uh, a big piece of personalization is definitely hands-on experience, professional development. This is something that every TCNJ student takes advantage of. So a typical business student at TCNJ is doing two or more internships by the time they graduate. We have that great location. We're right in between New York City and Philadelphia. It's fun and great companies looking at our students. Similarly, typical science or engineering student is doing two or more semesters of one-on-one -on -one research with a faculty member by the time they graduate, up to and including our excellent MUSE program, mentored undergraduate summer experience, where you can live on campus, you get a stipend, you get paid to be on campus and do research full time throughout the summer. Uh, and I could go on and on with these examples, right? So education students are in the classroom by their second year of study. Nursing students are in the hospital by year two. It is a direct admit program for nursing, by the way. So no matter what your academic or professional goals are, TCNJ is putting you in those spaces. You connect with current professionals, build that resume, develop core skill sets, everything you need to do to stand out when you're looking for that first uh, full-time job or competitive graduate program after graduation. Uh, very engaged campus community, over 250 clubs and organizations. We're Division Three for our varsity athletics, and in the 30-some years that Division Three has existed, our program has been consistently ranked among the top three nationwide for Division Three. so it's a very high level of competition while still prioritizing your academics first and foremost. Uh, and another big thing we do in terms of personalizing student experience is our excellent study abroad offerings. So we go to over 50 plus different countries that we have active partnerships with. We go almost everywhere. The only major area we don't hit right now, we don't send any students to Antarctica. Never had a ton of interest, but that could change. If you want to go study with the penguins, let me know. We'll find a way to make it happen. Uh, but the thing that I love about study abroad at TCNJ is we we target our programs around specific majors or academic areas. So just one really cool example. Every year we send a group of biology students to the Galapagos Islands and they actually follow the trail that Darwin was on when he was drafting the origin of species. So they're, they're getting the cultural experience, they're in a new location, they're getting biology coursework led by TCNJ faculty and they're getting their professional development in terms of research. And that's something where you'll, you'll see parallel examples for just about any discipline at TCNJ. And so that's kind of the who we are and what we do. And I know I went through that quick. And that's because I wanted to save some time at the end here. I got about 90 seconds left. I want to talk about specific opportunities available to you as Hatboro Horshin students, because we're trying to grow our geographic diversity at TCNJ. We want students from all over the country. So there are some opportunities available to you as a result. Number one, we've updated our cost structure. So in prior years, out-of-state tuition, probably closer to about $30,000 a year. It has been adjusted. Now out-of-state tuition starts at about $22,000 a year. If you're living on campus doing the meal, the meal plan, all of that is guaranteed for four years for out-of-state students. That's going to add on about $14,000 to total costs starting at about $36,000 per year. Uh, you can qualify for up to $6,000 in merit scholarship if you're a strong student. You'll be considered for federal loans and grants with your FAFSA. So you really, it's very feasible to bring the cost down below $30,000 a year, at which point you're neck and neck with our in-state students. Chances are you'll be seeing costs that are in the ballpark with some of the great options you see here in your home state of PA. Uh, beyond that, every out-of-state student is eligible for a fee waiver, and you get direct access to the admissions office. I'm your point of contact. Again, I've been recruiting in PA for five years. I love I love PA almost as much as I love Jersey. So any questions you have, anything that I can do to help, just get in touch and I'll make sure you have everything you need to feel comfortable and confident in this process. Thanks so much for your time, everybody. Great. Thank you so much. And lastly, we're going to hear from High Point University. Hi, everyone. Um, so my name is Michaela Olmstead. Um, I am from High Point University. Um, I'm an admissions counselor, but I'm also a graduate from High Point University. So to get started, at High Point University, every student receives an extraordinary education in an inspiring environment with caring people. This is something we take very seriously at High Point. So here's how we do it. We have our four pillars of academic success. So the first is academic excellence. Our average class size is 19 students. We only have about 5,500 students on campus. Um, so we do have a student to faculty ratio of 15 to one. So you are gonna get that one-on-one -on -one attention from your professors. Um, as a graduate, I still have really good connections with all of my professors. Here's some of our majors. We do have a total of 65 majors and 63 minors. So there's definitely a lot to choose from, but here's the top 10 for incoming freshmen. So at the bottom, you can see pre-pharmacy. That is a special program we have. It's a 2-4 program. So you do two years of undergraduate coursework and then you get a guaranteed interview um, into our pharmacy program. And in four additional years, you will have your doctorate in pharmacy. At the top, you can see undeclared. So a lot of students don't know what they wanna do when they go to college, that's fine. Um, so here at High Point, we actually have a great program called Project Discovery that does help identify your academic passion. So if you don't know what you wanna do, 
sign up for this program and we do a personality profile and you get to work with a success coach and they put you in classes that help kind of form that interest and decide what you wanna study, but it also knocks out those general education requirements. Next, we have experiential learning in every major. So 25% of your time at High Point is going to be hands-on application process. So some of the unique educational experiences we have is access to industry leaders. We have innovators and in residents such as Byron Pitts, Steve Wozniak, um, Mark Randolph. Um, so they come onto campus, they host seminars and they go into classes and they actually work with our students hands-on um, and do a bunch of projects throughout the year. Next, we have professional internships. So we do have an internship guarantee program. It's 24 steps. Any student that takes advantage of this can start freshman year. And once you go through those steps, we actually guarantee an internship for you. Next is undergraduate research. So this is um, accessible starting freshman year, all four years. We have a program that teaches you how to start conducting your research, um, but then we also partner you with faculty members. And then student teaching in local classrooms. So as a High Point student, you can reach out to the local elementary schools and you can actually go in and teach them how to play instruments. You can tutor them in math and science, but also with our education majors, um, we actually start our student teaching freshman year. So the first year that you're at High Point, you get to get into those classrooms and learn how to do classroom management. Four year development of life skills. So here we have our five star steakhouse that is on campus. Um, students can eat here once a week as part of their meal plan, but it's not only great food to eat during the week and hang out with your friends, it is a learning opportunity. So we teach you those fine dining skills that are gonna set you up for success to get you that job interview um, or to get you the job. Here's our career and professional development center. So this is a great resource for students who are looking for internships, looking for jobs. They will teach you how to write your resume, cover letter, and even your LinkedIn profile. Um, Again, access starting freshman year, completely free. We also do a LinkedIn photo day, so you can get a professional headshot done every semester, completely free. Modeling values and building character. Uh, so we do a lot of giving back at High Point. This past year, our students completed over 110,000 hours of community service. Um, one of these things is our freshman book program with local elementary schools. So the incoming freshman class brings in their favorite book. You write a little note and then you get to donate it to a kid at a local elementary school. Another one that we do is a Veterans Day breakfast. So we bring veterans on campus and we provide them breakfast and students get to help out, serve them breakfast and you get to sit down, talk to them and then give them a blanket um, as a token of our appreciation. The inspiring environment. So this is our academic promenade. Um, again, we're a mid-sized campus, but all of your academic buildings will be along this promenade. Um, it is the international promenade and it has flags that line it all the way from top to bottom. Um, so these represent um, all the countries that our students have come from. Um, it takes about seven minutes to get from one end to the other. So all of your academic buildings are at ease of access. We also have state-of-the-art academic facilities. So we do have a biomechanics and physiology lab that students can conduct research, but also be a part of the research. We also have a Culp Planetarium, a news and radio studio that help provide our on-campus news station. And then we also have an executive boardroom. So going into student life, we do have 16 NCAA Division I teams. We also have over 100 campus clubs and student organizations. Of course, we have Greek life, um, and then we have club and intramural sports. So our club sports are, are ran more at a D3 level, so there is a professional coaching staff. However, the intramural sports are more just around campus. You wanna play with your friends. Um, but we do also support all religious groups. We are Methodist affiliated, but support every religion. So application is open. Um, so some deadlines, we have early decision, that is the binding one, early action, you have until May 1st to make a decision. And because you're coming here so early, don't even look at regular decision. Um, so here's some benefits for ED, you get your own parking spot, you get priority to dorms and classes. So thank you guys. Great, thank you so much. Um, we do have a few minutes left, so I actually want to invite all of our panelists back on cam. I'm going to ask a question. I think we'll have time to go through one question just to give everyone a few more minutes to talk about, uh, you know, their experience, potentially their university. 
Um, and so our students can hear a little bit more. So let me open up that question here. My question is, what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? And we will start again up at the top with Hartwick College. So I would say uh, my first piece of advice, do as much re research as you can, explore as much as you can, uh, don't limit yourself to one specific type of college or university. Dig around as much as you can. Maybe what you think you're interested in. Once you start doing that research, you might find out that you're interested in a little bit of something else. Take time to explore, figure out what you're passionate about. That's my biggest piece of advice. And then, of course, if you're able, visit as many colleges as you can. Um, if it's going to be where you're calling home for the next three or four years of your life, you want to know that you feel comfortable and safe there. So if you get a chance to come visit, especially a chance to come visit Hartwick, we'd love to have you. Great. Uh, next, Centenary University. Hello. So I would just like to say, enjoy the process. You might be drawn to a certain school for whatever reason it is, and it might just feel right for you. You need to go with your gut, whatever that is, and just explore them further. Um, there's always a gut feeling for a reason. So just don't ever knock that off of the counter for you. Part of the fun of the college process is meeting new people, being able to grow, and just creating your own experience for yourself. Great. Rowan University? Um, my piece of advice would be to start the process early. Um, I think, you know, senior year is supposed to be a lot of fun. It's not supposed to be stressful. Um, so the sooner that you can start the application process, um, it also makes your decision easier. You're really able to lay out all of these options. You're able to lay out the scholarships, the financial aid, and be able to make a decision that's right for you and not kind of feel pushed against the wall like this was the last resort. Um, and then finally, you get to enjoy the rest of your senior year. It shouldn't be stressful. So just start early. Great. Uh, Fairleigh Dickinson University. Okay, hi. Um, so the biggest piece of advice I would really say is to get on as many college campuses as possible. Um, does it matter what we say? Um, you could love everything that's on paper, but if you get to the school and the school feeling is not right for you, then we're not gonna, all of us I think can agree that we're not gonna say come to our school if you don't like it. Um, so get on a campus, talk to the students, maybe get in a classroom and then make your decision based on what is best for you, not anybody else, but for you. Great, the College of New Jersey. Yeah, I would just say find a contact at the schools you're interested in and really build that relationship and connection. Every school is so different, different programs, different application requirements. So when you hit that point where you're like, wait, what was that mentored research program at TCNJ? Who was that bald dude that was going to answer my questions? I'm that bald dude. Send me an email. And there's people like me at all different schools you're excited about. They're going to help you throughout the process. Great. And lastly, High Point University. I would say take the time to brag about yourself. Um, you are your own advocate, and especially through this admissions process, we want to know everything about you. Um, that way we can see who you are, not only as a student, but as a person. Um, so just don't be afraid to, you know, tell every little detail about your life. Um, that is really important. Great. Thanks so much. Um, I don't think we're going to have enough time for everyone to answer another question. I do apologize for that. So. I am gonna start to wrap up our session now. I wanna thank everyone for joining us today. Our panelists, I wanna thank you guys for taking some time out of your very busy schedules uh, to chat with some students. And for our attendees, thank you for joining us today as well. When you do close out of your attendees, there will be a quick five question survey that will appear. If you wouldn't mind filling that out, that would be great. We, that's how we make improve, improvements on our event. So we truly appreciate that. A reminder that there is another hour of programming. So go to sign up for more sessions. And another reminder that this session and all of today's sessions are being recorded and will be available at strivescan.com slash hatboro-horsham dash in the next few days. Uh, I want to thank everyone again and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, everyone. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Bye.